Uh, Jack Frost was asking me how I uh, how I put away and cook uh, willow parmigan, and uh, if I got time when I'm hunting them, I like to pick them. But these now, I never had time, so I skinned them and I put them. After I skin them, I got them and I put the the gizzard and the heart back up in the cavity of the the partridge, and I wrap them in these uh, freezer bags, and then I put them in bags of five again. And I like to store them in a box because if you go rooting around, moving stuff around your freezer too much, it breaks little, you break little holes in your bag, and it'll get freezer burn. So I usually keep stuff boxed up, like you know. So anyway, when I get back to the boat, I'm gonna show you how I make a uh, parmigan soup. And uh, there's five of us there, so I'm gonna take five porridges. After there was six of us, I would take six. When we cook soup on the boat, every every person gets his uh, partridge. So. I'm also going to take this uh, porcupine right there. I'm going to take a meal of that. And I'm going to take a cup, a meal of uh, this is early char and true vacuum packed. I got that last year while we were fishing in McCovic. And I'm also going to take a meal of scallop. I got some seal here, but I'm going to leave that there. I'm hoping to harvest a couple now uh, as we're steaming the boat down. So, anyway, when I get back to the boat, I'll be uh, showing you how I make my parmigan soup. All right, today is uh, April 25th, and I'm aboard the boat here now, and we got her in the water a couple of days ago, but right now I'm just going to show you how it makes parmigan soup. And this is uh, five parmigan that I took down from Goose Bay, and you can see, lucky enough, there's uh, all the breasts is near shot and running in them. Nice purges, and uh, I put the, the gizzard and the heart in the belly of each one, and I got those going to soup too. And uh, but for soup now I'm going to remove the legs because they're full of uh, small bones and that. You don't want them getting in the soup, so I'm going to finish cutting off the rest of those before I put them in the boiler. And when I'm making soup or stew, I always use salt meat. And uh, when you're using salt meat, enough you'll get enough salt from this meat to uh, salt in the soup or stew. So to start off, I got salt meat, onions, the parmigan, uh, the gizzards and hearts, and I also add in a couple of cans of stewed tomatoes. This is all my original, so. So anyway, I'm going to finish off cutting off the legs and get the, the salt meat ready and then uh, I'll add it to the boiler. Alright, I never use all that salt meat. I used uh, with that much there, but uh, I don't know, a little over a cup full. And uh, this is going to be a pretty big bottle of soup, so I've got a nice bit of salt meat. And I already got the porridge put down there. i got five. That's uh, one porridge per person. And i got salt meat. And one large onion cut up and here's the gizzard and hearts and I'm going to add two cans of stewed tomatoes and it looks like a little bit of that paper look come off the off the boiler but so anyway I get the five purposes down there the salt meat onions and stewed tomatoes and we'll let that cook for a while now all uh, right, it's come to a boiler now, so I'll let this cook away for about, uh, say, a couple hours. All uh, right, this was cooking for close to two hours now, so now I'm going to add some uh, carrot and turnip. And I'm going to give that a... Let that cook a little while longer there now. All uh, right, that was cooking there for a few minutes, and now I'm going to add a, a couple of small potatoes, uh, Diced up there, so and just give her a little stir, and uh, let that cook away there. Yet yeah. now, I'm going to add uh, dainty minute rice. So the last thing I'm going to add here now is uh, pasta shells, and uh, these cook for another. I don't know. 12 15 minutes or so, and uh, the soup should be ready by then. So, I'll just put that in there and just give her a light little stir there, and just let her finish cooking there now. Very good.